Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number nine on the Raspberry Pi and specifically we are learning how to run Linux on the Raspberry Pi, learning how to find our way around the Linux system via the Raspberry Pi. If you were here for lesson number one, we showed you all the equipment that you need, the gear you need in order to follow along with me on these lessons. In lesson number two, we showed you how to install the operating system and get the Pi booted up. Lessons 3 through 8, we started showing you how to operate the Raspberry Pi using Linux. And today we're going to learn a new command, a new Linux command called sort. In order to sort something, in order to sort a file, we have to have files to sort, and so we got to create some files. This is also good practice for the things that we've learned in old lessons. Sometimes people say, you know, your lessons are too long. Here, just show me the one thing. Well, I'm trying to reinforce the learning from the uh, from the earlier lessons. So just understand, designing these lessons for high school students, trying to constantly re reinforce things that they've learned in the earlier lessons. So let's see, where are we? How do we find out where we are with the what command? command? What? You're right. PWD. I mean slash home slash pi. What's in there? How do I find out what's in there? List. LS. <clears throat> you can see I've got desktop and Python games. Those are the two folders that come with the operating system. You can see I sort of cleaned out the stuff that we were doing earlier. So let's make a directory. How do we make a directory? MKDIR. <clears throat> and call it my files. Okay, ls, there it is, my files. Now I need to create a new file. How do I create a new file with nano? Where do I want to put it? Let's start from the top. Go to root, go to home, <coughs> go to pi, go to my files, and then the file we're going to call my dogs. Okay, dot txt. All right. <coughs> what were my dogs? My dog was spook number one, then I had Susie, come on, S-U-Z-Y, you can put your na dog's names in here or you can use my dog's names, then I had Spook2, <coughs> and then I had uh, Little Sweet, and then I had Little El Elmo, and then I had uh, Ginger, those were the dogs in my life. How do we save it? Control O to write out comes down here. Is that the file you want? Enter to take it. And then how do I get out? Control X and boom, there I am. Let's cat it to make sure. I'll do the easier path name this time that would start from where I'm presently am. My files. <coughs> and then my dogs.txt. Okay, boom, there are my dogs. Okay, <coughs> need another file. I'll use the easier path name now, my my files, and then I need to go to my grades.txt. Okay. My grades, I had a 99, and then I had a 98, and then I had a hundred, and then I had a 97, and then I had a 60, had a bad day, but then I came back with a 90 and then came up to a 95. Okay, you can put your grades in there or you can use my grades. Okay, <clears throat> how do I save it? Control O, I take it by hitting enter, and then how do I get out? Control X. Okay, let's look at that. Nano my, my files slash my grades.txt. Boom, there are my grades. Ooh, okay. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to cat it, but that, that did it as well. Okay, <clears throat> finally, let's make another file. My files and what I want is my months my months dot txt whoa nano what did I do wrong there oh I put nano nano <coughs> my files dot my months dot txt boom well, what are my months let's say January June <coughs> July August, April, let's say February, let's say March, let's say May, let's say September, let's say December, 
let's say November. Okay. <clears throat> How do I save them? Control O, Enter, Control X. Okay. Now let's look else in my files. And I have, ooh, what's wrong with that? <coughs> okay, that's good. I have my dogs.txt, I have my grades.txt, and I have my months.txt. All right, so now I've got these interesting files. Now, the, the command that I'm going to teach you today is a command called sort. Okay, and let's say that I want to sort. That's the command. Now, what do I want to sort? I want to sort in the folder my files, I want to sort the file my dogs.txt. Okay, look at that. It put them in alphabetical order. Ginger, Little Elmo, Little Sweet, Spook 1, Spook 2, and Susie. And you see that reordered them. Okay, that puts them in alphabetical order. Sort. <coughs> what if I want them in reverse alphabetical order? Well, I sort and I give the dash R, the minus R, that says reverse order, and now again, my files slash my dogs dot txt. Okay, look at that. Reverse alphabetical order, uh-huh. Okay, now, <clears throat> you can see this is very, this is a very powerful, uh, a very powerful command because it allows us to sort things in a file. But a lot of times you want to sort it for a reason, so a lot of times you would like to be able to save it. <coughs> well, how would I do that? Let me go back. If you just hit the arrow key, you can get your, the arrow up key, you can get your old commands. And so let's go back to where I did the sort, my files, my dogs. And you remember in the last lesson, how would we send that to a file? We would send it to a file with the greater than. So now instead of putting it on the screen, I want to send it to a new file. Where, where, <coughs> where do I want that file? I want it in my file. So I'm giving it a path and then slash. And then I'm going to give it a new file name, sorteddogs.txt. Okay. So I say sort. What do I want to sort? in the folder my files slash the file my dogs dot txt and then put it put it where in the folder my files slash a new file called sorted dogs dot txt okay let's look at ls my files and look I've got a new file and the file is called sorted dogs so now let me cat that my files and then uh, slash sorted dogs.txt look at that now this file is a sorted list of the dogs in alphabetical order so not only did I sort it but I sorted it and I put it in a file for later use okay that's pretty cool so we've learned how to sort we've learned how to sort in reverse order and we've learned how to sort and put into a file. There's some other things that we can do. <clears throat> let's just try this. Let's say sort and then let's say uh, my files and then my grades dot txt. Okay, look at that. <clears throat> it doesn't really know what to do with sorting. It's trying to put numbers in alphabetical order, which does not make much sense. So to sort numbers, we need to tell it that it's numbers. Again, just hit your up arrow on your keyboard, and you can get your old command back, and then you can left arrow back over here. Say minus n. That tells it, that minus n right here, that tells it that we're sorting numbers. Now if we do that, look at that. I sort from lowest to highest, 60, 90, 95, 97, 98, 99, 100, okay? What if I wanted to sort in descending order? <coughs> well, I do the minus n telling it it's numbers, but can you guess? You got it, like last time, minus or r for reverse. Boom, reverse numerical order on my grades, okay? What if I wanted to do that and put it in a new file? Well, <coughs> it's the same here. But then I have to redirect the output with the little greater than sign, and I would want to still go to my files, that folder, slash sorted grades.txt. Boom. Now let's cat my files. 
and then uh, I'm going to go <coughs> sorted grades.txt and boom there it is there is a file that has the sorted grades uh, how about if I said uh, how about if I looked at the months if I say if I say sort and I say my files and then I say my months.txt okay look at that it took my months and it put them in alphabetical order but when you're sorting months you usually don't want them in alphabetical order you want them in what yes you want them in calendar order so how do I sort things in calendar order well hit the up arrow and I get my command back <coughs> what you need to put is you need to put minus M okay minus M says that you put things like in month order in calendar order notice the M is uppercase okay now let's look at this look at that month order calendar order January February March April May June July ooh misspelled July even and it still got it <laughs> it still got it even with my misspelling that's pretty amazing <coughs> August September October November December I guess I didn't put October in my original list so but it did get the ones that I put in there in the correct order how would we do it reverse okay minus M minus R for reverse order boom December November September got, got it there how about if I wanted to put it in a new file in reverse order I would do that I would send the output to what my files slash my I'd put sorted underscore months dot txt give it a new file name now let's look at it cat my files slash sorted months dot txt and boom there it is <coughs> a new file which is in the reverse sorted order okay so what did we learn today in this quick lesson we learned how to sort things in a file how to get the sort list to the screen or how to get the sort list into a new file we also learned that you could sort ascending or descending sort of sort forward or sort backwards if you want to sort backwards you put the minus R if you're sorting numbers you want to put minus N if you want to support sort numbers backwards you put minus N space minus R okay and if you want to sort months you put sort minus capital M and then you can sort months alright this is just a really powerful little thing to understand because you can start manipulating your files and you can very easily alphabetize a list or you can very easily sort a list uh, based on ascending or descending numbers or ascending or descending months okay thanks this has been a quick lesson join us very shortly for lesson number 10 if you're finding these lessons useful give me a thumbs up <clears throat> think about subscribing even better yet share this on your social media get get more people out there programming and learning this stuff this is pretty cool stuff paul mccorder toptechboy.com i will see you on lesson number 10